So, let's modify this to Apuinski. So let's comment out this Cento scheme and implement our Apun scheme. So first of all, I want to calculate uh, speed is going to be equal to f one to n minus one minus minus f two to n divide by u one to n minus one uh, n minus one minus u two to n. So that's the formula we are using here, right? Okay, and uh, speed, whichever that is not is not finite. Oh, right. Uh, is that actually is that how MATLAB also works? Uh, oh, actually, I think I it's finite. Uh, it is. Is it not? I mean, okay, definitely not. Not. It's tilde. Okay. So, so for for the speed that is not finite, which means u minus, um, the difference is probably going to be uh, zero. Or I think a more proper way to do that is uh, the absolute value of this is less than let's say ten to the minus eight or something. Because uh, even even if it's not exactly zero, even when the difference is tiny, we expect a lot of. Uh, Truncation errors, right? Uh, when this happens, so uh, so special case is equal to this, and uh, special case is equal to the FDU, which in my case is uh, let's actually evaluate the FDU is equal to U. And uh, these two lines, okay. DFDU is equal to U. This is equal to DFDU special case. All right. So now we have calculated the speed of discontinuities. Uh, discontinuity or characteristic. E either way, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Now my F int is going to be what? My f int is going to be either one way or another way depending on my speed, right? So f int is going to be speed greater than zero. Uh, f int. Let, let me see. Uh, so so let's first uh, let's first uh, assign everything to the left left side. So it's going to be f one to n minus one, and f int. The, the places where it's not proper to do this is um, for speed less than zero would be equal to okay so so let me let me let me do things a little bit uh, differently so you f left is going to be this right f right is going to be f2 to end so f int let's set to be To be f uh, left times a can, can you do this in MATLAB also uh, speed uh, f left uh, to be greater than zero plus f right times speed less than zero is that is that going to work? Huh? So you have to make it int. Would that work? Let's try uh, in space. Okay, so int Oh, that works. Okay. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay, so so I don't need any int. Uh, so, but I need a dot product, right? Okay, so so that's uh, uh, that's how you make the interface flux uh, dependent on which direction it is. All right.
Okay, uh, so let's give it a try. Anything else we need to change? Don't think so. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's make u equal to u0 and do the time loop. Well, let me close this. Do the loop again. Okay, so now we are seeing again the the smooth behavior of the solution, the uh, positive side moving towards the right, negative side moving towards the left. And now a shockwave forms, no spurious oscillations, right? Okay, and everything behaves as we expect. So the solution runs into the shockwave uh, from both sides, and the shockwave stays a shockwave, uh, both sides stays a smooth function. Alright, so that's uh, how the upwind scheme fixes the grid by grid oscillations that is caused by looking at the wrong side of the, the shockwave. Alright, and uh, uh, for example, if we make it uh, u is equal to u0 plus 0.1 to make it uh, a little bit uh, more interesting, uh, so the shockwave actually moves. We can do the same, except for the y limb is going to be a little bit different. y limb minus 1, 1.1, and uh, draw now, pause value it okay so so here i shifted the, the entire solution upward a little bit right so the shock wave is actually going to move towards the the right and uh, uh let's see how this would work so the shock wave forms and uh, it's moving if you look at this point it's moving slowly towards the right all right Okay, any questions about this? The two finite volume schemes, the two different flux reconstruction schemes we looked at. Yes? Is there a way to make it second order in the part of the solution? Of course there is a way to make it second order, but it's a little bit more complicated than, uh, than just taking the central flux scheme. Okay.